So we haven't talked in a minute. So the big news that happened since last time is Drake versus Meek Mill, or Meek Mill versus Drake originally, which I guess turned into Drake versus Meek Mill. Right. <laughs> what do you think of that whole situation? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, 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 it went back and forth. Uh, there's, there's different ways to look at it. Like, um, if I'm going to look at it from like a historical perspective, if I yeah. pull back and I look at all the battles, you know, the, the great battles in hip hop history, this one ain't shit. Mm. This is bullshit to me. Like, I don't feel that the songs that were produced out of this are going to become classics in the future. Yeah. Like, 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 like the bridge is over in the South Bronx. You take that out of the, the, the battle context and those are just classic hip hop songs in their own right. Yeah. Um, Ether, fucking, uh, take Jay's, over, take over, like yeah. all of those songs. If you remove the battle element, even if you remove the rappers from the songs, just the beats alone. Yeah. Hit them up. Who shot you? All of those joints. No Vaseline. No Vaseline. All of those joints were like, the beat itself could stand the test of hip hop time. The yeah. song, if I played Drake's back to back, I might not even fucking know what track that is. Yeah. It's very generic, you know what I mean? That back to back shit. But at the same time, in the context of the landscape that we're in now, today's music, it's fucking great. You know what I mean? It's fucking fire. Like, you know what I mean? It's with all the simplistic MCs and shit that are out there right now, you know, your man Drake went to town on him. Ghost Rider or no. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think Meek made a bad move by, you know, getting a little emotional that the homie didn't tweet his fucking album out and all that bullshit, you know? Um, Try to make them look bad, but the tables turn real fast. See, we're in, a, we're, in a, we're in a time where they don't give a fuck if he writes his own shit or not. Yeah. That's only for people like me yeah. who have some sort of hip hop um, morals or fucking, you know, go by the original protocol of hip hop where you write your own shit, you don't, ba you don't bite off of other niggas' rhymes or style and all of that. All that shit went out of the window a long time ago when, you know, all this corporate shit came in. When it, when it came to producing numbers and, and getting hits rather than how creative the, the MC really is. Well, well speaking of, of corporate shit, this is actually the first battle in hip hop's history that spilled over into the corporate world. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? No. Like, uh, major corporations started to oh, tweet. Oh, talking shit about it. Right. Yeah. Like, it started kind of small, like, you know, there's some burger chain called Whataburger, you know, said, hey, Meek, take it from us. If you're right. going to serve beef, make sure it's high quality. And then it just sort of kept going. Like, you know, Mercedes came in and said, hey, if y'all want to settle things on a track, you know, use this one. You know, Meek and Drake want to settle it on this type of track instead. Now, like, two Mercedes so racing. It's all about and, attaching yourself yeah. to what's popular. Yeah. And in the past, the hip-hop artists would want to attach themselves to Mercedes and all the other things. Right. Now, hip-hop has become so popular that Mercedes wants to attach itself to hip-hop. Exactly. That's crazy. And, and, and what was, you know, if you... Notice there was like even on TV there was like some baseball game where someone hit the ball and it was like oh that hit was as disappointing as a Meek Mill diss track and wow. <laughs> it just sort of kept going wow. like McDonald's would have like you know signs with you know get the real beef here Meek Mill or something like on their on their signs and it just you've never seen you've just never seen hip hop cross over into the corporate arena. Because look, if you really take a step back, uh, Me Meek Mill was talking about fucking your sister in the ass and some other shit. Like, Mercedes would never, and if you really think about it, Mercedes really shouldn't be connecting themselves to right, that. at all. At all, right. and yet, 
it kind of has just gone all out the window. You know, you got some young kids running these tw Twitter accounts that are like, hey, this, this is going to pop. This is the pop. way to go. Like, yeah. And it's, it, it kind of popped off. I mean, think about it. 50 Cent and Ja Rule wasn't no corporations talking about that shit. You know, Jay-Z, Nas, uh, McDonald's wasn't trying to touch that shit at all. But these days, I mean, even, even Jordan brand, you know, had like someone holding up a, you know, Jordan said charged up. And, you know, they're, they're referencing the whole thing like it was like the thing to do. And it, it, it's never happened I mean, before. so, you know, you can look at it as, yeah, this beef has crossed over into the corporate world. Or you can look at it as, you know, hip hop is being exploited to its highest heights that everybody feels like they want a hand in the shit. You know, just like Africa, like originally certain countries went into Africa and exploited the resources. And at some point it's like everybody wants in on the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I don't know if it's good or bad. You know what I mean? What? What? I don't know what the, it's a symptom of, but it's 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 ill. If you take a step back, who do you think won that battle? The, the, the Drake Meek Mill shit. Yeah. Did you even have to ask Drake? Well, I mean, the, 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 the shit that Meek Mill produced was laughable. Like I couldn't even understand what the fuck he was saying. It sounded like it was mumbling and all this type of shit. Like like. And I like Meek Mill. I think he be having some songs that, I'm, you know, that I like. And he seemed like more of a street type of dude. But like, he comes from a battle background. Right. So what when you fuck? look at like his battle with Cassidy, people will judge it however they want to judge it. But people don't say, oh, my God, Meek got murdered by Cassidy. Right. Like, you don't really hear that. You also don't hear people saying Cassidy got murdered by Meek. Which means that both of them held their own and right. put out quality, quality tracks. But now he's but, getting bodied by a singing nigga. Yeah, like like people people aren't really saying. I think Obi Trice feels that that Meek won. I remember he he went on on Vlad TV and said that. As a lyricist, if you were to look at Drake versus Meek Mill right now in terms of the songs they released, who would you say, you know, is winning from your I point? Think, of? I think I think Meek won. I think Meek won, and I think that people that, that actually think Drake won, that charged up was whack as fuck to me. I didn't like that. I didn't like back to back. It, it really wasn't, the nigga ain't really saying shit. Like, you, niggas, niggas gotta listen to fucking Meek, man. Okay. Like, I, I ain't got no hate towards Meek or nothing like that. Like, if you put the two to, in front of me, and said, who would you rather hang out with? I probably would fuck with me, because right. he seemed like a more street type of dude. You see yeah. what I'm saying? But that being said, I got to call a spade a spade. And Drake fucked him up on this one. Like, that, this, the shit that he replied with was almost like, yeah, how, how, how the niggas you was around let you put that out? Like, yeah. like, like you must talking, have mad yes men around you. He was talking about his rolly, I think. And Huh? There, there yeah, was, there, there like, like what, what, why would you even talk about that? Like, you ain't got the type of paper, this guy. You ain't got the, as many hits as him, so you can't have that type of paper. This nigga fuck with Sprite and all kind of... Why would you even mention money? That's not the time to mention that shit. <laughs> right. This is the time to get on some lyrical shit and fucking rip this man's fucking throat out. Why do you think that... I mean, he started it. Right. Drake dropped two songs. Right. And Meek never dropped anything after that original track. Because he, he, he went on, he went on stage and, and spit said a little, little something. shit, and that shit was better than the song. But he never dropped it right. officially, right. which, which to me was kind of odd. Because my thing was like, you know something, fuck it, just keep dropping diss records just until just, you hit one. Until you hit one, that's what I would have done. See, what's so funny is like in his joint, there was that second half, right, where Puffy start talking and all of that, yeah. and and the beat, I was like, yo, okay, he getting ready to get into some shit right here. And like, it just stops, and then it fucking stopped. Like I thought that was gonna be the one. But then it was, it was like, I'm thinking, well, okay, he's going to try to set it up for some new shit. For, for, he's going to play us the little piece of that, and then he's going to drop the whole one, and that's going to be the bomb. Even though I felt like that strategy was bad, he should have just let the whole shit go. Yeah. But then he didn't even do that. He didn't like, drop it. Like, what the fuck, man? I was so, disappointed. Because I, I, I like Meek. 
Yes. Like I, I, I actually, what a lot of times, you know, when, when I would do occasional interviews and people would ask, like, who's your favorite rapper right now? I, I was saying Meek a lot because I really liked his energy. I wouldn't go that far, but I like me. I like me. I like me. I, like I also like too. Drake for, yes. di for, di for different reasons. Right. But in terms of an aggressive street rapper, Meek was really at the top of my list. And I was rooting for Meek to put out some hotter shit. Like, like yo, let's go. Like, fuck it. Because I, I was talking to uh, Immortal Technique about this the other day. And he was like, yeah, Meek uh, didn't have enough ammo when, when he started this whole thing. And I'm like, who the fuck cares? You a fucking rapper. Right. Build some ammo. Rap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dig into this your bag. I, I remember me and, uh, me and Talib Kweli had, had talked about how uh, the difference between like hip hop and spoken word, whereas like a spoken word, you get on stage, you kind of fumble and fuck up, people will be like, oh, he tried. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he right. tried. Yeah, Good for him. him. Good for him. Right. You, you, you whack on a, whack, on a rap show? Boo. Boo. Get, get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. Stage. Like, you might get some shit thrown at you. Hell like, fucking you yeah. might get beat up. Rotten tomatoes and shit. You might get beat up. A lot of spoken word poets might be getting mad at me for, the, for what I'm about to say, but it seemed like a lot of them wanted to be rappers, <laughs> but just didn't, did, didn't, for whatever reason, weren't doing the rap thing. And the rap thing is kind of tougher than the spoken word thing. Now, while spoken word artists are, the what they write is infinitely on a higher level than most rappers, but the actual performance of hip hop is far more aggressive. Hip hop, if you get on stage and you whack, the niggas are gonna boo you. You know what I'm saying? Spoke a word, they'd be like, it's all right, nice try. Nice try. <laughs> At least he had the courage to get up there. He did a, you know what I'm saying? I remember Karis One would say how when he first started out that if you came on stage and you were whacked, you'd get beat up and robbed. That's how it was back then. Shit happens. Shit happens. Shit happens. But why would Dre put me in it? Okay. I mean, because if they start from where they start from, I was just a quiet girlfriend who got beat up and told to sit down and shut up. Me, personally, I do as well because, I mean, even to this day, none of his kids, none of his baby mamas, his mistresses, anybody, nobody has came up with HIV or nothing like that. So, I mean, just, just rationally thinking, something, something had to go on.